generosity in Ramadan. Now, when I talk about generosity, what comes to your mind? So, meaning money. So, of course, exactly. If par sa'im, and everybody rush to if par sa'im. Which, alhamdulillah, I'm not saying anything about this. But I want you to be more, deeper. And I want you to look at how many opportunities Allah gave me in Ramadan to be generous, and I absolutely don't see it and throw it away. And I feel so bad when I hear my friend paid $100 and my budget cannot allow me but to pay $50. Generosity, absolutely in money. That's no question about it. And this is a very famous hadith. Rasulullah used to read Quran with Sayyidina Jibreel in Ramadan every night, except the last year before he died. It was twice. And can, this is how he was described. Can he was more generous, more generous than the running wind that bring a lot of khair with it. However, I want you to look at generosity in another way. Give me an example of generosity outside money. Forgiving. Forgiving. Smiling, so Smiling in the face of someone, absolutely. So reaching, reaching to your kinships, even if they never call you. I wouldn't say this is generosity, but I want, generosity means it's something extra. You don't have to do it. Ah, that's it. Are you just picking up anything in your way? Or I'm sorry. Anything in your way? You can just pick it up. Anything. So remove, remove any harm. It's not generosity. These are sadaqa. No, I'm talking about generosity. What about neighbors? For example, you're cooking, then you send every day food to your neighbor. That's fine. I'm looking for more than that. Sure. Oh, like, no, but no, no, no. your time, how to be generous with your time with reading Quran? Uh, That's not generous. Generous, generous, more. Mm -hmm. Generous? Are you ready? Cheers. Do you have, how many of you, because I have never been here in Ramadan, in your mosque, the women area, crowded? In Ramadan? Yeah. Crowded or there is um, plenty of space? Yeah. Crowded. crowded. Yeah. yeah, if you come at uh, Isha time, you may may not find a place in the weekend. But this is the scenario, and I see this all the time in St. Louis, definitely in the Haram. So here you are. You are in the Masjid, right? Let's say in reality in in the States. You're from Maghrib. On the weekend, all kids come on in. We're gonna pray the fast in the Masjid. We're gonna stay. I brought my sajada. I brought my suwak. I brought my misbaha, my Quran. I wanna enjoy my day. Tayyib. Husband is there, kids are there, alhamdulillah. So I come in and move over. And I'm sitting in that place, beautiful, center. I hear well, nobody distracts me. Before I shall, Allah test you. You have to go do your wudu. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. What happens? You come back, good luck, bye bye, your place. <laughs> and World War Three will happen in the next year. That's, then you are not generous. Generosity is what you give. More, or more than average, more than most people do, or you do something most people will not do. And especially giving your right, that's generosity. It's with people, it's with people. That's why I told you, it's not about money. Because a lot of people don't have money. But how many will do this, the example I gave you? How many? Somebody looks at you, and this is your misbaha, the only misbaha you have. She looks at you and says, it's beautiful. Take it. And you mean it. Not take it and you're... <laughs> <laughs> That's generosity. Same thing with the rug. Same thing with the abaya you are wearing. Generosity. You give. You give not because of who is she, especially if you don't know her. Allah, if you don't know her, that's even better. You're doing it because he was. And I'm following his footsteps. Because Allah yuhibbu al-muhsineen. Allah loves those who are generous. Because Allah says those who spend when they have and when they don't have. They don't have mean what? I come to the masjid, there is no place. I'm not going to be praying in the masjid. But she took my place. Not a single word. And of course, uh, the people who is next to you. It's her place, what happened? 
And then you are generous. And you say, it's okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> you know, it's down on everybody with taqwa. Help each other to obey Allah. Be generous. Nothing is yours. This is how I tell myself. Nothing is mine. I own nothing. It's all from Allah. It's as they call it. It's a istiara. Allah gave you as keep it with you for a while. And then you will take it back. So generosity in Ramadan. Exactly in food. And I'm sure you come into the line of iftar. I'm the first one, I'm taking everything. No, no, put the least. Make at least five a place to the people be behind you before you do it for yourself. That's generosity. The last piece of cake or the last piece of something, there's five people behind you. You leave it. You want it, you like it, but you leave it. You're generous. Did you see these? These are all small things. I don't know how much we even pay attention to it. To be generous.